Hello everyone, my name is Aladdin Brioli. I'm a visual anthropologist, an artist and a beekeeper. I'm here today talking from the apiary I irritated from my grandfather. I will introduce you the project developed for iBeam, Rapid Response for a Better Digital Future. Before that, I will quickly tell you where it comes from. A few years ago, I started a DIY humanities research project called Apian. It investigates the age-old interspecies relationship between bees and humans and vice versa. It looked at the contact zone where the two species meet and surveyed the past, present and future interspecies relationship between humans and bees. Apian has been a place for collaboration. Unfortunately, for reason of time, I cannot bring all of them here today. However, I would like to quickly introduce you the three amazing people I work with to develop the project for phase one called the Intimacy Machine. Hi, I'm Ellen Lapper. I'm a visual anthropologist and I'm also a writer and I'm writing for the Intimacy Machine. Hi, I'm Harry. I'm Joris. We are a designer and we are a studio artist in London. So we designed and developed the online platform for the Intimacy Machine. The Intimacy Machine is a polymorphous organic machine that aims to challenge the forthcoming of digital apparatuses within the world of beekeeping. It is designed in order to decolonize techno-scientific practices and hinder the advent of computational beekeeping. This project stems from an ethnography that investigates the forthcoming of electronic monitored hives. Broadly speaking, an electronic monitored hive is not a new hive design, but the idea of filling a beehive with multiple digital sensors in order to track and record bees' behavior. Theoretically, any type of beehive could be turned into an electronic one. However, it is mainly used with a modern hive, which is the standard wooden box that probably all of you have already seen in the apiary. This new technology is used to monitor and record bees' activity in order to make the practice of beekeeping less invasive more efficient and in some situations remote. All these sensors are recording data which are transferred to a web platform where beekeepers can monitor their hives from afar and reduce the disturbance for bees. During the fieldwork, however, I quickly, quickly realized that the use of this digital technology was coming with a clear embedded politics, which is the idea of monitoring and transforming the practice of beekeeping into a more profitable one. Moreover, in a further future, it could turn hives into cybernetic machines and take the beekeepers out of the equation. No doubt that none of that is designed for the well-being of honeybees. The ethnographic result gave birth to the idea for the intimacy machine. Akin to electronic monitoring hive, this machine takes the form of a web platform, which was developed with Ari and Joris. However, here it is not about colony management or producing more honey. It is about creating new types of relationship with bees. With the words of Jack Metcalf, it's about developing intimacy with them, yet without proximity, than rather extending surveillance capitalism to the world of bees. Welcome to the Intimacy Machine. This machine is designed in order to hinder the advent of computational beekeeping and offer a blueprint for future beehives. Simultaneously, it also challenged our use of digital apparatuses in our relation with non-humans. This platform also works as an archive of bee knowledge. For example, you can discover this bee flying with a drone. Here, the robot will learn to navigate in previously unknown terrain by relying on sensory modalities of bees. This research was elaborated by Tim Lenkraft at the Freie University in Berlin.
Or you can explore all bumblebees learn to roll a ball in order to get the reward. And afterwards, they teach each other how to do it. This research was made by Lars Chitka at the Queen May University in London. The project will continually evolve with the addition of new data. And at the same time, all the data are supplemented with sources and further information. Thank you to be here today and for your attention.